Hello, Brian. My name is Steve Shaw. Here I am down here. How you doing? Um, and I just want to say you have the coolest cousin ever. Your cousin Sue has commissioned me to make a painting for you. And so here it is. Not only did she want you to have an original work of art, she wanted you to be able to see that original work of art being created almost right in front of your very eyes. So that's what we're going to do. Now your awesome, wonderful cousin Sue told me that she uh, wanted the painting with purple, orange, and yellow. And I'm not going to lie to you, man. That's kind of a tough color combination, but we're going to see what we can do. So what I have here is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I've got some delicious, wonderful yellow in here. I've got some orange that I've lightened up a little bit. And I've got a rich, dark purple. And on standby, I have a lighter purple that I can use if I need to uh, add a little bit more purple to it. Now what I'm doing today is called acrylic pour painting. I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but it's acrylic pour as in P-O-U-R, where you pour stuff. And uh, one of the great things about it is you can't really control it, you can just influence it. So I've taken a canvas, I put down a little layer of orange, I'm probably going to put a little bit more on there, but then I'm going to put my uh, yellow and my purple together and we're gonna dump it on this thing and it's gonna move and groove and do all sorts of cool stuff and you are gonna end up with an awesome looking painting. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit more orange down to give us a little base coat on here. Swoosh this around just a little bit. This layer will just kinda of help things uh, flow around and it will pick up a little bit of the, the color of this orange. There we go. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this yellow paint, and you know what, I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm just gonna set it on here for a second because we're gonna be pouring right on top of that. And I'm gonna add some oil. And what the oil does, um, it's actually silicone oil. Um, this this cool stuff. I'm gonna put a couple of drops in each of these. And what that does is uh, I'm gonna be heating this up later and that will uh, create what's called cells, and people in the pour, pouring world love cells. I, I'm gonna thin this yellow out just a little bit more. Stir that up. One of the biggest parts of pour painting is the preparation. The actual pour itself really doesn't take that long, but it can take quite a while to get all your paints just the right thickness, the right consistency. But I think we're in pretty good shape here. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I know this is crazy. I'm gonna just swirl that around. I'm gonna take this, pour that right on top. I'm gonna add just a little bit of orange on the top of this. Ooh, that's nice and thick. And then, I'm gonna do what's called a flip cup. I'm gonna lift this canvas. I'm gonna put, oh, look inside of that cup already. Look how pretty that is. I hope the camera can pick that up, that's gorgeous. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take my canvas, lay it on top, all right? And then I'm gonna flip the whole thing over. And right now, just that pressure is kind of keeping the, the paint inside there. I'm gonna peek around my camera and make sure you can see, oh yeah, you can see everything. All right. This is the moment where galaxies are made. Let's see what happens. Oh my. <laughs> that is beautiful. Beautiful. We've got, gosh, all the little circles, those are the cells that everybody's dying for. That looks so cool. Love the bright yellow and the purple with a nice mix with that orange. He's almost like an orangey brown. All right, I'm gonna take this and stretch it out. This is just called tilting. All right, I'm gonna, and I wanna get good coverage on through the whole canvas. Oh yeah, this is looking excellent. Excellent. Oh yeah. 
Purple's getting mighty strong, but we're gonna keep moving this around. You can see the paint coming all through there. Oh yeah, nice juxtaposition with the purple and the yellow. Let's get some of that purple down in here. Lots of yummy cells in here too. All right, we're almost covered down here. All right, I'm gonna tilt this back just a little bit more. I wanna get a little bit more of that purple going on in there. Wow, this thing is like a poppy field full of orange cells. I love it. I'm gonna stretch out a little more. Wow, okay, looking good. Keep going. Some of that uh, the, that yellow is actually almost looking a little bit like green right now. All right, so the other thing we do, it takes some of the paint off the back of this, um, is you can heat this up. I know a minute ago I talked to you about the oil that was in there. I'm gonna heat this up with a blow torch, a propane torch, and we're gonna see what effect that has on it. Usually that'll bring some different colors up than what's already there, but this is, um, this is looking strong. All right, I'm using uh, my propane uh, can bottle that you can get down at the do-it-yourself store. All right. That did not have a huge effect. That just means the cells were already really well kind of integrated and mixed in there. And I, I'm gonna tilt this a little bit more for you, but not a whole lot. One of the dangers everybody talks about in pore painting, there's an old joke. How many artists does it take to make a masterpiece? And the answer is two. One to paint it and one to tell them when to stop. And a lot of times with pore painting, you don't have anybody to tell you to stop and you end up pushing it too far. I don't think that's gonna happen with this, but I'm really liking the pattern and design on here. And it's really, it's changing right before my eyes. And even if, when I leave this here tonight, when I wake up in the morning, it will have changed and moved around a little bit more even after that. So, Brian, Merry Christmas. Give your cousin Sue a big hug because she's one of the most thoughtful people I have met. Not only did you want, she want you to have a painting, but she wanted you to see it being created. So it's 2018, and this is Sue's gift to Brian. Merry Christmas.